I had to just get on here really quick because let me just say this. <laughs> man, oh man. I was on Twitter. You're like, oh boy, yeah. I, you know, I don't know what it is about folks. You know, I am walking around here. Let me head out. I'm going to go outside here for a second. I don't know what it is about people. Oh, it's so pretty out. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about folks who keep asking the same question about Vice President Kamala Harris. The question they keep asking is, well, we don't know her policies. We don't know her policies. Stop it. Stop. That is so disingenuous. I got to show you guys this. Look at this. Look how quiet it is. Look at this. I think I want this backdrop behind me. The forest. Um, we just had a convention. There was a convention where she discussed her policies. Not only that, she's been talking about this for the longest time. There are content creators who have been talking about this. So that is no longer an excuse. So we just need to stop it. Just be honest. Say that you are not voting for her for whatever the disingenuous reasons are. And just leave it at that. But this, is she qualified? We already know that she's more than qualified. We already know that. And you know what her policies are. You know what this administration has done. And you know what her policies are because she's been clear about that. She has. You can go to content, uh, content creators such as Reese Colbert, who is the encyclopedia about anything that has to do with Kamala Devi Harris. And she can talk to you about that. You can watch her serious um, XM show. But there's so many content creators and people who have information. Um, it's at whitehouse.org. It's there. So this, this disingenuous um, narrative, you know, about, well, what has she done? Stop it. Just, just enough. Because it's disingenuous and it's hypocritical. It really is. So what can we do as Christians? to participate in this election. You can be honest. You cannot engage in arguments with people because you're just going to go down a rabbit hole. Don't even bother doing that with strangers that you don't even know on the internet. Have the facts. Um, research yourself. And um, there's nothing wrong with calling out foolishness. Okay? Let, let's just go with um, uh, Second Timothy. I think it is uh, 2 Timothy 4, preach the word in season and out. Yeah. And what is, what is uh, this, the way that we're supposed to comport ourselves, you know, is with grace, dignity. Our word should be seasoned with salt. But yeah, you can definitely call out foolishness with people. Um, but you don't have to engage in name calling and things like that. That's, that's unnecessary. So anyway, I hope this finds everyone well. Um, stay genuine, please. Don't be disingenuous. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking questions, but ask the question, okay, with every intention of, of being honest and open about what it is that you want to hear, okay? Um, to purport oneself as, um, you know, saying, well, I, I haven't heard this or whatever, that means that you haven't been earnest okay and honest about opening up your ears to actually hear what it is so you have to take a look in the mirror and ask yourself hey am i being honest because hey vote for whoever you want to vote for but but to keep asking the same ridiculous foolish question about whether she's qualified or well, i don't know her policies get out of here with that it, it sounds foolish and it makes you look foolish it really does because the policies are there. She talked about it at the convention. You can look on um, whitehouse.gov. You can, you can look at all these content creators. There's this one kid who's 12 years old. His name is Noah. I think he's on this app, but definitely Too Raw, Too Real, which is Kenny and uh, Reese Colbert. So those are people who can definitely help you be able to figure all of this out. Okay. May the Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you and he be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Be well.